y'all and welcome back to my channel as you can see we are in the beauty supply store we're actually at beauty masters in duluth if you are in the atlanta area and i'm just showing you around and just showing you the variety of wigs that they have there and you know how it's set up and you know if you're looking for anything in particular they most likely have it and I'm just showing you like all the cute styles that they have and just, you know, all the variety because it's very overwhelming when you go on there. I like to have an idea of what I'm looking for because as you can see, it's like hundreds of wigs. Like on the other side, it's more synthetic wigs. And the side that I'm actually showing you is the human hair wigs. Yeah, those I think are the synthetic right there. But the side I'm showing you now is the human hair wigs. And as you can see, there's all different colors, textures. They range from high to low pricing. Um, yeah, any wig that you can really think of is most likely there at Beauty Masters. So yeah, just a little show and tell of how it looks when you are going to shop for your wig. channel is that all okay here and I am back with another video today's video is going to be a wig video I'm going to be showing you the wigs that are in my collection that I actually get from the beauty supply store all of the wigs are human hair wigs they're really affordable and they look really really good so this is kind of like a baddie on a budget video because not every wig in your collection has to be super expensive or a lace front wig or you know something that's just crazy with the price because like i say we are all on a budget or at least i am during this pandemic and you know you want to make your dollar stretch but you still want to be you know pretty and cute so i just got a few weeks here to show you guys i did put a clip in the beginning of the video of how the beauty supply store looks when you come in and all the wigs. I focus mainly on the synthetic wigs. I mean, on the human hair wigs, I didn't go to the synthetic side, but I definitely can do a uh, video with the syn synthetic wigs, but I don't really buy them anymore. I used to really be into synthetic wigs, but I feel like my money was better spent with wigs I can continue to reuse um, versus, you know, wigs that I would have to replace every couple wears so yeah i'm gonna start off with well i'll start off with actually the wig that i'm wearing because this is a beauty supply store wig that i've had for over a year and i've worn it multiple different ways and it has held up so nicely and it doesn't tangle it doesn't tangle and i've worn it straight and it's pretty long it goes down to like my waist area and I've worn it so many different ways. Right now I have it crimped. Uh, I've worn it with loose curls. I've worn it straight and it's held up really good and it was under $200. So the wig was about $115 so under $200 and I would say it's about 28 inches and it's human hair wig. It's not a lace front wig. It's actually a lace part wig and I have a little bit of my hair just kind of swooped in the front to give it a more natural look. But like I said, not every wig in your collection needs to be a lace front wig. Personally, I don't um, want to have all lace front wigs in my collection because sometimes you just want to throw on a wig and go and I have to worry about, you know, tacking it down, doing baby hairs and all that fuss. So I really like this one because of that. So this is one of my favorites and it's super long and it's just a good density. I would say maybe like 180 density no maybe less i don't know but i like it a lot this is one of my favorites now the next one is a i believe this is by the brand vanessa yeah this is a vanessa wig it's about 20 inches i recently wore this one in my instagram post i'll uh put a picture in the video So you can see how it looks when it's 
on but yeah it's like a 20 inch wig human hair and i actually just did a restoration on this one because this one is about a year old and i put baby hairs in it it's dirty because i've worn it recently but this one is a lace frontal but it's a like a glueless lace frontal you don't have to tack it down or anything if you don't want to because it's really tight and you don't have to really do anything extra and this one is a full lace wig so it's like a mesh cap if you can see my hand here it's like a mesh cap all throughout and it's got a pretty long part so that helps it not look too like cheap the part is uh, long enough and I did pluck the hairline on this one and when I revived it I added um, a couple of tracks at the bottom just for more fullness since it was an older wig but it still has movement it's still a really good wig and when it's installed it looks really nice and i think this one was under 200 dollars as well like a hundred and something dollars i don't know i got it a while ago so i don't remember but i know it's under 200 dollars, and this one is really nice and i like wearing that one for like an everyday type of look if you don't want nothing too long and especially since it's like way too hot now the next one I have is one of my favorites and it's actually a recent purchase. It's this curly bob. It's super thick, as you can see, and flouncy. And this one is a lace part wig, but it has a tiny bit of lace um, on the sides, which makes it look a little bit more expensive. And I did pluck the, the hairline, but you have to be careful with this type of wig because if you pluck too much, you'll hit the tracks. So you just have to pluck a very tiny bit, which is what I did. And I added some baby hairs. This one's kind of crusty because I've, oh, excuse me, because I recently worn this one, but it's definitely one of my favorites. And I actually have the box for this one because I recently purchased it. So this one is another Vanessa wig and it's 100% human hair, Brazilian human hair, hand tied silk lace front, but it's more like a lace part with a little bit of a, you know lace frontal and this one is i don't know how many inches it doesn't say i would say maybe maybe 14 inches i don't know but it's so pretty and it's so soft and it's it's comfortable and it's easy to put on let's see if there's anything else in here no nothing else in here but yeah that's one that one's also by vanessa so the Vanessa brand is pretty good. If you're shopping at the beauty supply store for wigs, check out the Vanessa brand. Um, the wig wigs that I've bought from them have been really good quality and I do enjoy you know, wearing them. They wear nicely, they look expensive, like you spent a lot of money, but you didn't. So the next one is another recent purchase. Now, I already have a Doherty Explorer wig, but I didn't really like that one too much. I didn't like the hair on it. So I saw this one at a beauty supply store recently and it was so cute on the mannequin. So I picked this one up and this one was $50, or no, it wasn't 50, it was actually on sale. Um, and I got it for, I believe, $44. So that was a pretty good price. And this one is by Naked. Brazilian natural, 100% human hair. So I still had a packaging for this one. And you, it says you can bleach and dye and perm, but I wouldn't try it on this type of hair. So yeah, this is a little stock card. It's how the lady looks. So this one's really cute. And this one's 100% human hair. Good mute movement. I can't wait to wear this one and see how I actually really like the Doherty Explorer wig because I really didn't like the other one that I had. So that one's a good find. Um, oh, I didn't mention that this wig that I have on is also by the same um, brand, the Naked uh, Natural Brazilian. It's by the same people, if you guys wanted to check it out. They used to have this wig on wig types, but I don't see it anymore on there. So maybe they've added it again. But if they do, I'll link it down in the description box. Now the next few are some bobs. I love bobs for the summer especially, but just in general, I love a, a good bob. This one looks a little bit rough. This one is Emma by Bobby Boss. 
and I got this one a while ago. I actually have two of this wig because I wore the other one so much that it kind of got like a little tattered. So I purchased it again, but it still has movement. I haven't worn this one recently, but it's just a black wig, black bob wig. It's a lace part wig with a little bit of lace in the front. But yeah, this one I still have the box for. This one is Bobby Boss, lace front and the style Emma 1B. But yeah, I used to wear this one a lot. Now my next one is one of my favorites. It looks a little bit bent out of shape because it was tucked away. But it's a platinum blonde wig by, let's see, Sis. This is a Sis wig. And it's human hair, super soft, good movement, good density. And this one was a really good price too. I believe this one was 70 bucks. So I thought that was a good price for a colored wig, especially this platinum blonde color. And it has like, you know, dark chocolate roots. It's very cute. I'll insert a picture of me wearing all the wigs so y'all can see how they wear and how you can style them. Um, the Bobby Bob Boss wig was, I believe like 60 bucks, maybe less. Now the next one I have is another bob. This one is also really cute. This one's a lot thicker than the other one. It's a honey blonde color. And this one was $60, I believe. And this one's also by Bobby Boss, yeah. So I think this is Emma in the color like number, uh, what's this color? If y'all know this color, put it in the description box below. I know it's a honey blonde, but I can't remember like the number for it, but. Yeah, this one's really cute. A lot of movement. When it's flat ironed, it looks really cute. I'll insert a picture of how it looks when it's on. And styled, but yeah, I love this one. I haven't worn it recently because I've been wearing other wigs, but that's one of my favorites. And the hair is so soft. All of these wigs that I've showed you are really good quality and they're really good price. So if you're looking to buy a wig for under $200, check out your beauty supply store and see what kind of human hair wigs that they have. Now, a lot of the wigs that they have are overpriced, but you need to look for deals. Like if you know you can get it cheaper online, then buy it online, don't buy it in the store. But if you know you're getting a good deal um, for what it is, then go ahead and purchase it. So that's how I shop at the beauty supply. And I find my wigs for good prices. I'm just like, you need to know the market. Like if you know you can get something cheaper, um, that's similar or better somewhere else, then don't buy it at the beauty supply. But these wigs I felt were a good price. And they, my beauty supply that I go to, which is Beauty Masters, they often have deals. So I'm able to get them for like 30% off or uh, more, depending on if I buy like the display wig that they may have just put out and it has no wear on it or anything, no one's really touched it, and you can get even more of a percentage off. So that's another tip. But yeah, so this is my little mini beauty supply store wig haul, or not haul, collection, and just like tips if you wanna shop at the beauty supply store for human hair wigs, girl, check it out. So I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Hopefully I'll be filming that soon. I know I've been gone for a little while, but I'm back and I'm gonna be uploading regularly like I was before. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.